everybody and welcome. In today's tutorial, we will crochet this dishcloth or washcloth set. I have made three in different sizes. We can make these in any size and color of our choice. We are using the Catherine wheel stitch. I have explained in detail and filled this tutorial with tips. So please watch till the end. Thank you. To crochet this dishcloth or washcloth, in this tutorial you will need the following material. You will need 3 colors of cotton yarn. This is 4 ply moisturized cotton yarn. I have used 2 shades of blue and 1 green. Then we will also need a 4 mm or a G6 size crochet hook. We will need a scissors, measuring tape, a tapestry needle and stitch markers. Now let's begin. I am starting with the light blue yarn. Now let us make a slip knot. Take the tail end of the yarn and loop it over the working end as I am showing. Then take the tail end of the yarn and go below the loop to form a pretzel shape. You will catch the second loop in your crochet hook and pull it out to form a slip knot. Tug on this tail end to tighten it. We will now chain in multiples of 8 plus 2 to the required length. That means we will chain in multiples of 8 to 9 inches, 10 inches or whatever length we want our washcloth or dishcloth to be. And at the end we will add 2 extra chains. So, to chain, go below the yarn, catch the yarn in your hook and pull it through the loop. Go below the yarn, catch the yarn in your hook and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Continue this till you reach the required length and I will meet you there. To measure the chain, place it against the measuring tape as I have shown. My chain measures about 9 inches. I have chained 40 plus 2 which is 42 chains, 40 being a multiple of 8. Row 1 is made up of single crochet beginning in the second chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip this first chain and into the second chain you will make your first single crochet. So insert your hook into the back limb of the V of the stitch. Then you will yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now make a single crochet in this next chain. So insert your hook into the back limb of the V, yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Make a single crochet in this next chain. Insert your hook into the back limb of the V, yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Continue making single crochet till the end of the chain and I will meet you there. I have reached the last chain. So single crochet in it. Insert your hook into the back limb, yarn over and pull through. Then yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now count your single crochet by counting the V's that you see. You should have one less than the amount of chains that you made. I made 42 chains. I have 41 single crochet. Now you will chain 2 and turn your work for row 2. So 1 and 2. Then turn your work. Now in this first single crochet we will work 3 double crochet. Remember that this is our chain 2. And this is the very first single crochet which we will work the 3 double crochet into. To make a double crochet, yarn over, then insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the stitch. Then you will yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, you will yarn over and pull through the last 2 loops. Then make another double crochet in the same stitch, yarn over and go back below both the loops of the V of the same stitch. Then yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Go back below into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook. Then yarn over and pull through the loop. 
once you have three loops yarn over and pull through two loops once you have two loops yarn over and pull through both the loops this is your chain two and these are your three double crochet in the same stitch now skip three stitches one two and three and in this fourth stitch you will make a single crochet so one two three skip then in this fourth stitch go below both the loops of the V of the stitch yarn over and pull through the loop once you have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through both the loops next you will skip three stitches one two and three and in this fourth stitch that you see we will make a shell stitch skip three one two three and in this fourth stitch you will make seven double crochet in one stitch so yarn over insert your hook in this fourth stitch that you see then yarn over and pull through the loop once you have three loops yarn over and pull through two loops once you have two loops yarn over and pull through both the loops make another six double crochet in the same stitch so yarn over insert your hook in the same stitch yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through the last two loops a second double crochet now we make the third now a fourth double crochet we will now make a fifth double crochet in the same stitch now the sixth double crochet in the same stitch now a seventh and a last double crochet in the same stitch this is a shell stitch which is seven double crochet in one stitch now you will skip three stitches after the stitch that you made the shell stitch in so skip one two and three you will skip one two and three and in this next stitch you will make a single crochet so insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the stitch yarn over and pull through the loop and then yarn over and pull through both the loops next you will skip three stitches again and in this fourth stitch you will make a shell stitch so yarn over in this stitch insert your hook below both the loops of the V then yarn over and pull through the loop once you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two then yarn over and pull through the last two loops your first of your seven double crochet in the same stitch continue making seven two three four five six sorry and seven once you finish the shell stitch you will skip three stitches one two and three and into this next fourth stitch you will make a single crochet then you will again skip three stitches after the single crochet and into this fourth stitch you will make a shell stitch then skip three and make a single crochet skip three and make a shell stitch till you reach the last four stitches of this row and i will meet you there you should make a single crochet and then have four stitches left after the single crochet i have four stitches left so i will skip three stitches and in this last stitch that you see of the row we will make four double crochet this is our chain stitch and this V that you see is the last stitch of the row. So in this stitch we will make four double crochet. Make your first double crochet in this last stitch. One, now make another, two, make another, three, 
and in this fourth and last double crochet of the row we will switch over to the next color which is green for me so yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch then you will yarn over and pull through the loop once you have three loops yarn over and pull through two loops once you have two loops you will not yarn over with the blue you will drop the blue and pick up the green yarn in a loop form catch it on your hook and then pull it through both the loops this is how we will change colors just tug on all the yarns to tighten row 1 and 2 were in blue row 3 and 4 are in green row 5 and 6 will be in blue and so on begin row 3 by a chain 1 and turn your work once you turn your work you will single crochet in this first double crochet that you see of the previous row so this is a chain 1 that you see in green and in this last blue double crochet make your single crochet so insert your hook below both the loops of the v yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops after the single crochet chain 3 1 2 and 3 now you will double crochet nine together beginning with the four double crochet of this half shell then this one single crochet and the next four double crochet of this shell yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch that you have made your single crochet then yarn over and pull through the loop once you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two loops you will not complete your double crochet but do the same thing eight more times so you have nine of these in all so yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch then yarn over and pull through the loop then yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through both the loops yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch yarn over and pull through the loop yarn over and pull through both the loops now you will see that you have 10 loops on your crochet hook count and make sure that you have 10 Once you have ten, you will yarn over and carefully pull through all the loops. Make sure that you don't miss any loops. After you pull through all the loops, you will chain one. Now you will slip stitch twice into the side of this very last double crochet. So insert your hook into any loop that you see on the side of the double crochet. then yarn over and pull through the loop and then pull through the loop on your hook now go below this loop that you see insert your hook yarn over and pull through the loop and then pull through the loop on your hook next you will make a single crochet in the same stitch where you have made the last double crochet so insert your hook yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through both the loops You will now repeat this entire pattern. So after the single crochet, you will chain three, one, two, and three. Now you will begin double crocheting nine together, beginning in the same stitch as the single crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops. We will not complete any of the double crochets. The loops on our hook will go on increasing.
This is my fifth double crochet. Now this is my sixth double crochet. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Once you finish nine, you will have ten loops on your hook. Make sure you count them. Then you will yarn over and carefully pull through all the ten loops. Now chain one. Then go into the side of this last double crochet and in insert your hook into any loop that you see and slip stitch twice. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now make a single crochet in the same stitch that you have made the last double crochet. You will again repeat the same pattern. Now you will continue this pattern to the end of the row. After the single crochet, you will chain 3, double crochet 9 together, then chain 1 and slip stitch on the side of the last double crochet twice, single crochet in the same stitch as the last double crochet. Continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. After my single crochet, I have chain 3 and reach my last double crochet 9 together of this row. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as the single crochet and begin your double crochet 9 together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now we can see our 3 double crochets that we have made in the beginning of the row and this is our chain 2 stitch. Our last double crochet 9 together will be on top of this chain 2 stitch into this loop. So yarn over, insert your hook into this loop that you see. I will show you again. On top of this loop, on top of the chain 2, we will make our last double crochet 9. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Now you have 10 loops on your hook. Yarn over and carefully pull through all 10 loops. Now chain 1 and go into the side of this last double crochet and make 2 slip stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook below any loop that you see. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Once you make 2 slip stitches in the side of your last double crochet, in this chain stitch where you have made your last double crochet, you will make a single crochet. You can see the green in the blue chain stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through 2. This is the end of this row. Row 4 is also in green. Chain 1 and turn your work for row 4. In row 4, in this last single crochet of the previous row, you will make a single crochet. This is your chain 1 stitch and this is your first single crochet of the row. After the single crochet, you will make a shell stitch on top of this double crochet 9 together in this loop that we have made by the chain 1 stitch. So yarn over. Insert your hook into this loop that you see. Then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2, yarn over and pull through 2. Repeat the same 6 more times so you have 7 double crochet in all in the center. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7.
After you finish the shell stitch on top of the double crochet 9 together, you will locate your single crochet of the previous row. So you can see this is the chain 3 that we have made and this looks like a single crochet in the previous row. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the single crochet and make a single crochet on top of the single crochet of the previous row. This is your single crochet of the previous row and this is your single crochet of this row. Next, into this double crochet 9 chain 1 space, you will again make a shell stitch which is 7 double crochet in the same stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, And six and the last stitch which is seven once you finish your shell stitch you will locate your next single crochet so this is the chain three as we can see and this is a single crochet so on top of it insert your hook and yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through both the loops. So make a single crochet on top of the single crochet of the previous row. Then go to the chain 1 space of the double crochet 9 together and make a shell stitch. Then go to your next single crochet. You will locate it because it is right after the chain 3. The chain 3 will lead a large gap and the stitch right after it that you see is your single crochet. On top of it make a single crochet. Then make a shell stitch and so on till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have made my last shell on top of the last double crochet 9 together. Now I will locate my single crochet and then single crochet in it. So this is my chain 3 stitch and the stitch right after it is the single crochet. The chain 3 will always leave a gap and this next stitch is a single crochet. In this stitch we will switch to blue color because the next row which is row 5 is in blue. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the stitch. This is our chain stitch and this is the last single crochet of the row. So yarn over and pull through. Once you have two loops on your hook, you will now drop the green thread and pick up the blue that you had dropped before. You will yarn over with the blue and then pull through both the loops. I will show you again how to change colors. So, this is my last shell stitch. I will make a single crochet in this last single crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over with the green and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops, you will drop your green, pick up the blue yarn, then yarn over with the blue and pull through both the loops. Make sure that the tension of this thread that you carry up is not too tight or not too loose. Now chain two and turn your work for row 5 which is we will double crochet all the stitches together. We will now double crochet 4 double crochets of this shell together. This is a single crochet stitch. So beginning in this first double crochet of this shell stitch we will double crochet 1, 2, 3 and 4 together. So in yarn over and insert your hook into this first stitch yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Do not finish the double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into this next stitch. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. We will not be finishing the double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into this next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over Insert your hook into this last fourth stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You will now have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and carefully pull through all five loops. Now chain one and slip stitch on the side of this last double crochet twice just like the previous row where we have double crochet together. So insert your hook 
below any loop that you see, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook into another loop of the last double crochet, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. And into the stitch where you have made your last double crochet, you will make a single crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. After this double crochet 4 together, we will now double crochet 9 together like we did in the previous double crochet 9 together row. So chain 3 after the single crochet. After you chain 3 into the same stitch, start double crochet 9 together, yarn over, insert your hook. Do not finish your double crochet, just go into the next stitch, yarn over. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Keep repeating this till you have 10 loops on your hook. Count your loops once you have 10 loops, yarn over and carefully pull through all 10 loops. You have double crochet, 4 double crochet of the shell, 1 single crochet and then 4 double crochet of the next shell. Now chain 1, then slip stitch twice in the side of this last double crochet. So in the last double crochet just insert your hook. Below any loop you see, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook into a loop, yarn over and pull through the loop and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now single crochet in the same stitch that you have made your last double crochet, you can see clearly in blue. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. We will now repeat the same till the end of the row. I will do it once more with you. After the single crochet, chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Begin your double crochet 9 together in the same stitch as the single crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook in the stitch. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Stop making your double crochet and go to the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook and so on. Do this till you have 10 loops on your hook. Once you have 10 loops on your hook, yarn over and carefully pull through all the 10 loops. Now you will chain 1 and go into the side of this double crochet and slip stitch twice. Just insert your hook below any loop that you see of the last double crochet. Yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Then make a single crochet in the same stitch where you have made the last blue double crochet. So insert your hook, make your single crochet. Continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of the row. I have only half a shell left. I will double crochet the four double crochet and one single crochet together. So beginning in the same stitch as the single crochet, I will start my double crochet together. So after the single crochet, chain three. Go back into the same stitch as the single crochet and begin your double crochet together. 1, 2, 3 and 4. After you finish the 4 double crochets, go into the single crochet and make 1 more. So yarn over, insert your hook below both the loops of the V of this last stitch. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. You will now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all six loops. This is the end of our fifth row. 
Now to begin the sixth row, chain two, one and two and turn your work. After the chain two and turning your work, you will go back into the chain space that you see of the double crochets together and in that space you will make three double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into the space that you see. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. This is my first double crochet. Make two more. They are all in the chain space. You can see the chain two and the three double crochet. After you make this half shell, you will now go into the next single crochet that you see and make a single crochet. This is our chain stitch and the next stitch after the chain 3 is our single crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through 2 loops to make a single crochet. Next you will go on top of the chain space of the double crochet 9 together and make a shell stitch which is 7 double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook and begin your 7 double crochet. One, Two, three, four, five, six, and the last double crochet in the same stitch to make a shell seven. Next, you will locate the next single crochet. So this is our chain 3 stitch and the stitch after the chain 3 will be a single crochet. There's a large gap below the chain 3 always and this is a single crochet. Insert your hook in the stitch and make your single crochet on top of the single crochet. Next you will go to this chain space and make a shell stitch on top of the double crochet together. Then you will go to the next single crochet and make a single crochet on top of it. Go to the top of the double crochet together. In the chain space you will make a shell stitch. On top of the single crochet you will make a single crochet till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have made my last single crochet on top of the single crochet and reached the double crochets together. In this chain space I will now make 4 double crochet in the same space. So yarn over, insert your hook and start making your 4 double crochet. 1, 2, 3. But in this last 4 double crochet, I will now switch back to green. So yarn over, insert your hook in the space. Then yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have 3 loops, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, you will not yarn over with the blue, but you will take the green that you had dropped before and bring it up. Now, yarn over carefully with the green yarn and then pull through both the loops. Make sure that the tension is not too tight or loose. After you finish row 6, we will now again begin repeating from row 3 to row 6. Row 3, we double crochet together. Row 4, we make the shell stitches. Row 5, we again double crochet together. Row 6, we make the shell stitches. Every 2 rows, we are switching colors. I will get you started on the next pattern repeat. After row 6, we will go back to row 3. Chain 1 and turn your work. Single crochet in this first stitch. This is our chain stitch in green and in blue in this first stitch you will single crochet. Then chain 3. 1, 2 and 3. Now you will double crochet 9 together beginning in the same stitch as the single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4. The single crochet will always be the fifth stitch that we double crochet together. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Once you finish nine, count that you have ten loops on your hook. Then yarn over and carefully pull through all ten loops. Now chain one 
and into the side of this double crochet which is the last double crochet that you have made you will slip stitch twice just insert your hook under any loop yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook do this another time once you do two slip stitches go into the stitch that you have made your last double crochet in and make a single crochet you will repeat this and finish the row you will now repeat rows 3 4 5 and 6 till the length of the dishcloth or washcloth that you are making i will put up a chart you can always rewind and see how to make rows 3 4 5 and 6 remember that you will end at row 5 and not row 6 so Keep making row 3, 4, 5 and 6 but in your very last repeat of the pattern you will make only row 3, 4 and 5. I will meet you once you finish the length. I have finished the entire length of my washcloth and I have ended at row 5. After that you will chain 1 and then turn your work. Now we will make one row of single crochet. Now chain 1 again and in this chain space of the double crochet together make a single crochet now in this chain 3 space you will again make 3 single crochet so go into each chain insert your hook and make a single crochet then go into the next chain just insert your hook into any loop that you see and make a single crochet again make a single crochet after you finish 3 single crochet, then make a single crochet in this single crochet. Now make a single crochet in this slip stitch. Make a single crochet in this next slip stitch. Then make a single crochet in this chain space. Continue in the same way. Once you single crochet in the last single crochet, then you will single crochet 3 more times and switch over to green. So single crochet in any space that you see once, then in another space once more. And in your last single crochet, you will make it in this chain space of the double crochet together. So make your last single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Once you have 2 loops, you will switch over to green yarn. So yarn over with the green and pull through both the loops. We will now make a border with green yarn. Now you will chain 1 in green and then turn your work for the next row. At this point you can cut off the blue yarn. Leave 5 to 6 inches to weave in and then cut it off. This is the right side of your work. Your slip stitch is at the bottom left and now from the top right side we will begin making a single crochet border. In this first stitch make a single crochet. Continue making single crochets in all the single crochets till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the last stitch of the row. Single crochet 3 times in the same stitch. 1 2 and 3 all in the same stitch. Now turn your work. Each corner will have 3 single crochets in the same stitch. Now we will make single crochets in this border evenly. So make a single crochet in the eye, make two single crochets in this double crochet, make a single crochet in this space, in this space, make two single crochets in the double crochet, make a single crochet in the eye and so on. Just evenly make single crochets till the end of this row and then at the corner you will make 3 single crochets and I will meet you there. I have reached the corner stitch where the slip stitch is. Make 3 single crochet in the same stitch. 1, 2 and 3. Now we will move on to the bottom where the chain stitch is. So in each chain you will make a single crochet. Just lift the chain and insert your hook and make a single crochet below both the loops of the chain. So lift both the loops and insert your hook and make a single crochet. Lift both the loops 
Insert your hook and make a single crochet. You will lift both the loops and below. Make a single crochet. At the end of the row, you will again make 3 single crochet at the corner and continue the entire border. I have single crochet 3 in 1 stitch at this corner. Now along this edge, single crochet over this yarn that you see so that you hide it. I have reached the last stitch. You will make 2 single crochet in it because 1 single crochet has already been made before. After you make 2 single crochet, you will join by a slip stitch to this first single crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. Now you can cut the green yarn. Leave about 5 to 6 inches of the green yarn and cut it off. Now you will pull out a loop. Just pull your crochet hook like I am showing. Once you finish, you will turn your work to the back and weave in the yarns. Take your tapestry needle and take the yarn to the back of your work. Now take the green yarn to the green color and that is where you will weave it in. The green yarn in the green and the blue yarn in the blue color. Go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction. Once you are sure the yarn is firmly weaved in, you will cut it off. Make sure it is firmly weaved in because this is a dishcloth and it is going to be washed very often. Once you are sure it is firmly weaved in, just cut it off. Do the rest in the same way. Your dishcloth or washcloth set is now ready. If you have enjoyed today's video, please like it and share it with your friends. Please subscribe to my channel. Comment below with any doubts or queries and suggestions. Thank you and see you next time.